In this module, we'll talk about new IT frontiers, cloud, mobile, social, and Internet of Things, or IoT. So IT dynamics are changing the way we communicate, the way we work, and the way we live. And this obviously has an impact on security because the way that we are using devices and all the progress and the fast-paced, blinding pace in which technology is changing is obviously affecting and open up, opening up new horizons and new vectors in which attackers will take advantage and try to breach sensitive information and bring loss and damage to organizations and people for their own malicious purposes. So these disruptive new IT frontiers have significant security consequences, and these are very, very serious consequences. Here is a diagram showing the changing face of IT. We have cloud, we have mobile, and we have social and IoT. And let's take a briefer, a, a closer look at each one of these elements and how they're changing in dynamics. So the first one is the growing cyber attack surface introduced by more smartphones and more data and more network traffic. So in 2015, there were about 3 billion um, you know, users, and now the Internet has about 4 billion users, and it will have in 2019. For smartphones, we had 3.3 billion users in 2015, which is more than doubling or almost doubling to 5.9 or almost 6 billion users by 2020. For data, we have 44 zettabytes in 2020. And in 2015, we only had about 8.8. Uh, .8. For IP-connected devices, um, the, you know, the figures are astounding. 16.3 uh, billion in 2015 and in 20, and 24.4 billion in 2019. And this information has been extracted from a McAfee report on predictions from 2016. And you can go ahead and look at this complete report. Um, and this infographic has been taken from that McAfee report. These are new types of devices, and there's a huge increase, uh, predicted increase in tablets, in wearable devices, in IoT, and in global public cloud market size. Now, for example, the public uh, cloud market size in 2015 was only $97 billion in terms of overall revenue and business. And by 2020, it will almost double to about $160 billion. And IoT devices are only 15 billion, a very small number in 2015. And by 2020, the prediction is about 200 billion devices. So the, the, the numbers are really, are really huge. And in variable devices, there's almost a four times increase in, in almost four years from 2015 to 2018. Now, look at the automobile attack surface in this diagram. And there are so many vectors and ways in which you can attack an automobile because of the IoT capabilities of these device of these cars and self-driven cars. There's a smartphone which is embedded. You can attack the airbag. There's a vehicle access system. There's a steering and braking system. Um, there is the passive keyless entry, the Bluetooth device, the USB ports, and the lighting system. You know, and and this also has come from the McAfee report that I just mentioned. Wearable attack surfaces and cloud and virtual machines um, also have a lot of avenues in which you can compromise these devices, the, the devices that you're wearing, which have personal information and your data on cloud and virtualization machine and control apps. Huge threat vectors and, and threats which are coming our way because of the way that we are conducting business and the way we are using new devices. So for cloud, for mobile, and IoT security guidance. There are various checklists and other security details which are available from two main resources, which are listed on this slide. There's a cloudsecurityalliance.org website, and this has a tremendous amount of useful information on cloud, on IoT, and on mobile security. And also, obviously, um, you know, obviously, Cloud Security Alliance focuses on cloud security, and there's a lot of guidance on virtualization security as well. And then OWASP, the Open Web Application Security Project, provides a lot of useful guidance on, on all these aspects as well, on cloud, on mobile, on IoT. And then the strong point of OWASP, Open Web Application Security Project, is the web security guidelines. These are all the useful URLs. You can get from the course notes available on the, on the student portal 
you can get these slides. And I have listed here the useful URLs in which you can get information on mobile security, Internet of Things, um, security guidance from Cloud Security Alliance and mobile security and, and a lot of useful documents. Thank you very much.